Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a semi-untethered jailbreak for your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch, 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. Now to start off, I already did make a video covering the semi-untethered jailbreak. However, this is a new update to it, and I wanted to take the time to better explain different parts of this jailbreak to you guys. So first of all, you do need to jailbreak with Red Snow, and I do have a video on that, and I'll have a link to it down below in the more info, so make sure you guys check out that video, and then jailbreak your iDevice with Red Snow. Once you've jailbroken it with Red Snow, you can come back here, and then you can get the semi-untethered jailbreak. Now basically what that means is that if you turn off your device, you can still power it on with limited functionality. So whereas before, with just the test their jailbreak, you wouldn't even be able to turn it on without plugging it into your computer, running Red Snow, and hitting it just boot now. So this option allows you to actually turn on your device, and it's kind of like a safety line if it accidentally turns off. So this is a really great addition to the jailbreak, and it's definitely recommended for everybody who does jailbreak. All right, so to start off, I'm going to show you guys that I am in iOS 5. So we have newsstand here. We have notification center here. And then also inside of settings, uh, general about, right here it does say for the version 5.0. So you do know that I am on iOS 5. All right, so now we're going to go inside of Cydia. And it's going to resume to where I had it, which is a spot on the Big Boss website. And I'm just going to show you guys some of the changes in this version. So it offers a let's get rid of that. It offers a much more stable jailbreak thanks to a new version of Mobile Substrate, and it also patches Safari so that when you turn it back on, you don't actually uh, lose the ability to use Safari, so you can use Safari to browse the web with this version. And then the third option, or the third edition, is that it adds an app to monitor the status of your semi-tethered jailbreak, and you can reapply it. Uh, and Basically, this is just a really great update, and I know the uh, last update also added some stability options, so again, this is really great. Uh, you actually have to add a source to get it, so if you don't know how to add sources on the iPhones and iPod Touches, you just go to Manage, and then you go to Sources, and then up at the top you go Edit, Add, and you can add your source. Now it's a little bit easier on the uh, iPad. You just go to sources and then you go to edit add. So uh, once you get to the add spot right here, you're going to add the uh, source or repo, uh, thebigboss.org forward slash semi tether. I will have that down below in the more info. So you guys don't have to worry about pausing this video here. But again, here it is, it's just thebigboss.org forward slash semi tether. So once you've added that, then you can install it, or if you've already installed it, then you can simply update it. So I'm gonna update it right now. And we'll just let that play through. Now for the limitations, you will not be able to use your mail application when you're booted in uh, without the boot tethered from Red Snow. So just like a standard reboot. All right, and in addition to that, you won't be able to use anything you've gotten from Cydia, but now you will be able to use Safari if you have to turn off your device and turn it on without reapplying the tethered boot. So that is, again, a really great addition. Uh, so I'm going to just respring here, and I'm going to go over a few more things, and then we'll reboot, and I'll show you uh, the functionality of it. All right. All right, so here we go. Uh, we do have an application now called Semi Tether, and we can click on it. And again, it will give us uh, some information here. So the status is okay, and it is reboot protected. And if you want to patch Safari, you have to enable it here. So just turn it on, and then that way when you turn it on, 
uh, without the Just Boot Now mode from Red Snow, you will be able to use Safari. So again, here we are, and uh, now I'm just simply going to turn it off. And you'll notice I do not have a cable plugged in, so I'm not using Red Snow to do the Just Boot mode. Also, while I'm doing this, I just wanted to mention that you can gain additional entries to my All Things Apple giveaway that I'm doing in collaboration with iPod Uplink in this video. Simply like it, favorite it, and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase All Things Apple giveaway. Now, you have to meet the prerequisites before you actually gain additional entries from this video. If you guys are unaware of the prerequisites, I will have a link to a video down below in the more info that actually describes the All Things Apple giveaway. And then once you have met all of the prerequisites, you can come back to this video. And again, you can gain additional entries by doing what I had just mentioned. So then once you have uh, gained some entries, you will actually be able to uh, win either an iPhone 4S, and that's a brand new unlocked iPhone 4S, an iPod Touch, an iPod Nano, or an iPod Shuffle. So again, that's how you enter. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to show you that now uh, Cydia does not work, and again, that is because we are not in that tethered state uh, with red snow. We just boot it up normally. So here we go, Cydia does not work. And uh, the good news is, though, is that Safari will work. So we can go to Safari, and we can go to Google, for instance. All right, so there's your proof that Safari works. And uh, again, mail does not work. It just hangs at this position and it doesn't do anything else. But like I said, you can use anything else. So like your uh, stock applications, for instance, like the App Store. So that's basically just my video uh, telling you guys how to get a semi-untethered jailbreak with the newest version uh, and kind of going over some of the changes and actually really going into depth on what a semi-untethered or semi-tethered jailbreak actually is. I hope you guys liked this video. And again, remember just to enter the uh, giveaway, rate it up, favorite it, and leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is ACU signing out.